Salut Denzel et bienvenue dans la leçon de cette semaine. Welcome to this midweek lesson. Well, so far it's been so good with your performance in our French lessons recently. And of course, uh, your performance is really encouraging, showing fully well that you are adapting and understanding the materials, of course, which have been given to you, which is obviously a very good news. So in this week's lesson, we are mainly going to review by doing, of course, lots and lots of exercises on our previous lesson, because we really want that lesson, the preposition, to sink deep within to you. And of course, it should also be part of you. And that is why, like I said, though your performance was great in that previous lesson, we want to still make sure that you don't forget what was learned previously by completing exercises in this upcoming lesson. So we're going to do lots of exercises to test your understanding skills and your application skills of the lesson on the preposition. And of course, we're going to start with the exercise on our textbook, which you can see right here. But just before we get there, let's again remind ourselves of the prepositions we saw last time. We mentioned that the preposition, which in English prepositions are words, which are used to show the position of objects. That was exactly what we talked about. And I'm sure you can understand what we mean. Words used to talk about the position of objects. In English, we have on, we have in, we have beside, so many. In French, we focused mainly on some few, which are, of course, about five in number. And here they are. The first one was sur, which means on. The second, sous, which was under. The third, devant, which means in front of. Derrière, which is the next, which means behind. Dans, which means in or inside. And finally, we saw à côté de, which means what? Beside or near. So these were the prepositions, as we saw in our last lesson. And now we are going to focus on the next page, which is titled Dis-moi tout, which means tell me everything. And you can see it's an evaluation exercise, which you see here. So we have some photos here. And of course, we'll be asking you to tell us the position of the boy in relation to the boxes. So the first box we can see here shows a boy on the box. He is sitting on the box. So how shall we say he is on the box? We shall say, il est sur la boîte. Yes, sur la boîte. Remember, on means sur. And that's exactly what we're going to say there. The next one, we can see the boy way. Yes, he's definitely in the box this time around, like inside. So again, can you remind, uh, can you remind us how we call it inside in French? Very good. Inside, as we saw, means dans. Dans, D-A-N-S. And obviously, we are again going to make that sentence saying, he is in the box. So how shall we say that? Remember the previous sentence was, il est sur la boîte. So you're going to repeat that same sentence, but this time around, just changing sur to dans since he is in the box. And when you do that, we're going to have the sentence, il est dans la boîte. Again, il est dans la boîte. Very good. And in the next photo, right here, we see exactly the same thing. And so we're going to repeat the same sentence as we did right here, il est dans la boîte. And after that, we have the next, we show the boy under the box this time around he is under the box and you remember the word for under in french do you all right so how do we say under in french again sous excellent sous was the word which was obviously a little d uh, the same as su but remember the sous here is spelled s-o-u-s which means under 
Different from the S U R, which is S U. Good. So we are going to say, il est sous la boîte. Sous la boîte. To say he is under the box. Very good. And then on the next, we have the boy who is this time around standing in front of the box, right? Yes, he is in front of the box. And you remember how we said in French in French? All right, so in front, we said is devant, yes, devant, spelled D-E-V-A-N-T. If you got it right, then that's wonderful. That was exactly how we saw devant. And now, let's repeat that same sentence. This time around, use it devant as a preposition. And doing so, we are going to have the sentence, Il est devant la boîte. Again, Il est devant la la boîte. Wonderful. And of course, that will be for that sentence. Looking at the next box, we have the opposite of devant, which is derrière. Remember, this guy here was in front of the box. Now he is behind the box. And how do we say behind in French again? We equally saw that already. Yeah. Behind is derrière. Very good. Again, derrière. Brilliant. So now, how do we say he is behind the box. Excellent. Okay, so we're definitely going to see il est derrière la boîte. And obviously, we have the same exercises which you see as follows. So, this is just one of those numerous exercises which we shall do this coming Sunday. Because like I said, we can say Sunday it's application day. Yeah, we're going to call it application day because we are simply going to complete lots of exercises on this lesson, the preposition. And of course, before doing that, we have a special video which we prepared for you still on this lesson so as to refresh your mind and refresh your memory about these different prepositions again. You're going to see even some few more extra. So that will be, of course, in our live lesson on Sunday. So we hope you review this lesson on the preposition again and remember to rewatch this video so that by the time we do this exercise again this coming sunday you will obviously pull out a great performance and of course when we come up with the other exercises we should be requiring you to do exactly the same thing you will still pull out an excellent performance so that is what we want you to do remember reviewing and revising is very important in language so that'll be it for today We'll catch you on Sunday for our live lesson. And for now, it's time to say au revoir. Yeah, bientôt. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.